So my work time usually is about 9.30 to 11. Sometimes it varies depending on the weather. Rest time ends at 2, so typically they do get free choice in the afternoon as well. Um, sometimes I kind of limit the areas. Like if I know today the ice cream shop will be open again because it's very desirable. It's something they really like. Um, I'm big on having them choose. I will ask them what they want to see in our classroom, what kinds of things they like to do at home. Um, I try to incorporate those things in our daily routine, but out of the blue sometimes I just get kids that say, hey, why don't we do this? I'm like, oh, that's kind of awesome. Like Jurassic Park, like we should have a dinosaur thing. Like we should do that. And, okay. So you can incorporate the goals into their interest too. Would you, would you like to be here too? I'll make room for you. Do you need me to brush it? They're, they're hammering the eggs. What do you think are in these eggs? You don't know. You think little dinosaurs? Why would you think little dinosaurs? The eggs look like dinosaur eggs? Um, the work areas also are curriculum based so because we have creative curriculum we have to have certain areas um what we put in those areas though are up to us so i go by the children's interests the children's needs um so we have to ha like we have to have a writing area but what i put in the writing area is going to be based off of what they're wanting to use today the scratch art is a big thing they love it but it also builds those fine motor skills so i do try to encourage my younger ones to go over there um to work on that pinch or grass that they need. Made out of ice? Eggs? Eggs might be in it? What, what other ingredients do you think is in ice cream? If you notice the ice cream cones that they were playing with, they have numbers on them, so the counting. We can incorporate all of their skills. The writing area has their literacy skills. Um, everything is just incorporated through their day. So, and they also get the, that time of the day that they get to choose whatever they want to do. And whether they know it or not, they're learning those skills. Sometimes we have to model to show them how to play there. Sometimes, um, if it's new, I usually introduce the materials and show them how to use the materials. But then sometimes I like to see like the dinosaur eggs, I didn't even introduce today. They were in our dramatic play last week and they were told that they could not like throw them and bust them open. That was my only rule. This week, now they have the opportunity, but I didn't introduce it as that. I just opened it to see what are you gonna do because they seen the tools there. Um, I just like to let them experiment first. and. It's kind of our role to step in when there are some social situations that they can't handle. They, they can come up with some pretty good things when they're thinking about it and when they have that freedom to do it. Oh, this is a good one. 